Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I wanted to report something to you guys. Now, I can't announce this as being live on the network as it's been reported to me that it is only in testing stages. But it looks like Sprint is testing the second carrier on band 25 in El Paso, Texas. As you see the little two over the next to the B25, that is the second carrier. So that's definitely good to see, even though it's in testing. I will keep you guys up to date over the next few weeks to see how widespread this gets, to see if I can find it on any other tower sites. Now this one, I'm inside my apartment. So this is being tested on the tower closer to my apartment. So I want to do some speed testing to show you guys. It is very inconsistent right now as it is to being tested. Sometimes, I would, like right now, I have a 74 ping but on the next test I can get a 285 ping not very consistent and the, the only thing that's been consistent has the upload has been bad on it um, as you can tell I'm over 100 on the DBMs so I'm not necessarily close to the tower I'm about I want to say about 2.6 miles away from the tower site and it's still penetrating inside my apartment so that's really good to see that Sprint is doing some testing in this market so with this eventually going live and then more band 41 sites going live in El Paso could be that we get a very decent network see now I got a 300 on the ping so it is very inconsistent now this is going to of course band 41 is going to offload people off of band 25 so when you do drop to band 25 with this second carrier being live in the future speeds could be very decent I want to say between 10 and 20 consistently so that's very good to see and then you know there's still band 26 out there even though it's not approved yet since I am in a border region it's not approved yet but as soon as it does get improved it'll fill in the lack of coverage I'm not necessarily gonna sit here and say that band 26 is gonna be great for for speeds it's just gonna fill in the coverage where band 41 nor band 25 can reach and where I would drop to 3G all that is going to be filled in with LTE on the band 26 so definitely now of course earlier I already tried I left my apartment I drove closer to the tower and then I lost the second carrier so so far I've been able, only able to maintain it inside my apartment uh, don't ask me why but even outside my apartment, even on the balcony, if I go on the balcony, I lose the uh, second carrier. So just wanted to run a few tests to let you guys know, keep you up to date. I also heard this is also going live in Albuquerque. Now, Albuquerque has no band 41 also. They don't even have any uh, scheduled, uh, you know, any permits scheduled for it. So this is going to be big for Albuquerque as well as El Paso. So definitely good to see. Alrighty, so I just wanted to keep you guys up to date on that. I appreciate all the support. Definitely give these videos a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated, keeps me going. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.